good awesome um uh it's it's all right it's 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 kind of going um but yeah um okay so today we'll do um find k pairs with smallest sums um and like what what language you what do you want to do it in today okay python uh i'll copy paste it over to the share pad and uh can you can you see it on your end okay cool all right um yeah have at it it's uh yeah, you've got two two integer arrays in uh, sorted in non decreasing order and you've got pairs of one element from the first one element from the second and return the k pairs with the smallest sums like we're given like something like this so i guess like some first list mm -hmm. we're given i don't know like some other list mm -hmm. um did you say it's sorted yep okay they're sorted so like this and we want to return the kth pair uh, uh so then we're also given k this kth smallest pair of sums um okay i still don't understand the question i'm gonna keep going through this but like my mm -hmm. initial thing without fully understanding this is maybe like some two-pointer thing but um i'll we'll just see okay so like what the output for this one would be is the second smallest one would be i guess one like the sums i mean like all the sums are like uh two or three four do the pairs need to be from different lists uh the so pairs it, it, it always consists the pairs always consist of one element from the first array and one element from the second array and and you want to return the pairs not the sums okay okay um so then so it's always one from each so then that means what like like three and like from one and two and then the four from one and three and then like five from one and five and like so on for two but these aren't even like the smallest though two isn't like two would be four from two and two and then uh, two from two from two is five two three Cool. Okay. So uh, we've got this. Um, I mean, like the brute force solution for this is that you would just sort everything, right? So you would generate all combos, right? That's, that's O of n squared. So I'm guessing that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, but we would go over all of them. Okay. I, so, yeah, I think maybe this is probably, like, maybe some two-pointer idea. So, like, one, they're sorted. So, we know we want to start with the smallest number. And mm -hmm. we want to keep going down. Um, problem is, I'm thinking, of like, a couple cases. But, like, one, the problem is just, like, how do we know in what order to move the pointers? Um, I think, like, I want to say maybe we can compare the first two, but maybe that's, like, too complicated and unnecessary. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, let's see. I think, I think we could do, like, one idea is maybe, like, so we do one two okay that's the three and then we do one three but before we do that we just compare like 
the next iteration that it would have been for two. Uh, mm -hmm. So like in this case, it would be like two with two. And we just check like, are those, is it higher than it? Because no, but then we're, we kind of lose because we, we may need to go back. So we're losing that data. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe two pointer doesn't work and we can think about something else. Mm -hmm. Some other solution. Mm. Let me know if you would like a hint. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. So if, uh, okay, suppose your pointer within the first one is, uh, <clears throat> uh, your, your pointer within the first array is I, and you uh, suppose like the, you, uh, you're, you're, you're pulling off, uh, smallest sums from your out, uh, uh, from, from the two arrays and you have just pulled off the sum, uh, uh, let, let the let the first one be a let the first ray be a second ray be b uh, and you have just pulled off a of i and b of j okay one thing to keep in mind is that uh the pair i j has to come between before both pairs a plus i uh, i plus one j and i j plus one so the i j pair has to come before both of those pairs so can you think of a way of like uh making some sort of unlocking structure um when, once you have examined an the ij I, paired mm -hmm. yeah you said the ij pair has to come before what i plus one the j and it has to come before i plus one j and it also has to come before ij plus one okay Okay, um because uh for example if your oh. i and j are one so uh three two so that's a sum of five that has to come before the three five and the four two okay so like three um, th yeah, three I'm two has sure. to come yeah three two has to come before three five and four two yeah in I'm I'm kind of lost in 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 what case, like in like so. Are you saying like if K like you're saying there's a relationship between K and I and J? Regardless of K. Oh, it sounds um, like. Regardless of K, um, so um, for example, the pair here. Let me go. The pair, uh, three three two, which has a sum of five, has to come bef in in order. It has to come before both, um, three five and four two which is just i if you're incrementing the i or incrementing the j okay um and then an idea that leverages that i mm -hmm. don't see any like i don't like that just seems like numbers and i uh, okay and an idea that leverages it um let's see uh let's think of this as let's think of the sum as like a cost uh, as possibly like the cost of a path like the cost of five has to come before the cost of eight and the cost of six can you think of some data structures you would use with shortest path algorithms that might help you here yeah i mean yeah, that would just be like a graph. Um, so using a graph for paths. Um, okay, so I mean, it sounds like what we're just comparing. We would just take everything and then, like, we take the I guess the current step at where we're at, and then just compare mm -hmm. it to the two future paths. I guess that we could take. Um, that would be what like a like a Dijkstra's. Like yeah, like a, there you go. There you go. That's that's exactly what I was going for. It is a it, it's a Dijkstra's like deal. So see if you, if if you can use something similar to the Dijkstra's algorithm to um, set up this problem. Yeah. So yeah. So one thing I was worried about with moving the pointers, I was thinking is mm -hmm. like the 
one thing I was worried about was um, losing like that data. It's like sometimes, what if we need to go back? Mm -hmm. But if we have right. the min heap, mm -hmm. and we just keep track of the smallest sums, then like the data is like still there. It's just going to be like, like we'll we'll get to it I guess later, and then we can yep. kind of just push those children. Okay, yeah, right. I, and I so and that. so if 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 you're at the top of the heap, right? You've you've just popped off ij. Uh, what do you do after that? After you've evaluated that? What can you push yeah, onto I the mean, heap? Yeah, you just push the children and then you can check if you've seen it before. Like just check if you've seen that path. Yep. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. 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 So go, um I guess I could go for it. Code that. Uh so uh, we'll just have I don't even know if we need the graph really. Maybe just more like a queue. Um and then we'll do heap queue. And it's gonna have uh, you don't, I don't even think we need to use heap key push, but, uh, it can be like heap queue. And also like theoretically, I guess we have to import heap queue. Mm -hmm. This is not an ID or not. An oh, ID and, code. uh, actually, actually what you can do is, uh, if you have that share pad off to the side, or, or, um, you can, you can run it in uh, lead code and, and, and like run the test cases and stuff like that. Um, okay. I, I, you, you don't have to run it within share pad. Uh, just just copy paste the code and dump it in lead code and uh, you could do that uh, to test it out. Okay. So we'll have some. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't even know what to call this. I'm probably just i and j is fine and then equals. Also, I don't know why it's like pushing off super far every time I press enter. But okay. Anyways, heap mm. q dot heap pop. So we'll pop the q, and then. We will uh, just check if we've seen it before. So if I, if I J, and scene, I have to initialize the scene. Is it mm -hmm. scene? And yeah, this is really no. I don't know why it's it's tabbing like, like tabbing four. If I press it's... enter, it like skipping, like almost. No. Oh, like I missed That's... a bracket. Nice. Okay. Like I yeah. <laughs> there. There you go. So yeah, so then we'll just continue, and then we'll just do like scene dot add, ij, ij. Cool, and then we'll do uh, we'll go through each of the children. So that's gonna be. Uh, also, let me initialize the the scene too while we're here. Cool. And then we'll just push the the children on. So like if i plus one. I guess is greater than like the length of nums one, mm -hmm. uh, or not greater than. I want it less than as long as it's in range. Mm -hmm. Then I want to push it, and that'll be like sum plus nums at nums one at i plus one. I guess, and then we'll do i plus one and like j. And then we'll do the same thing for J. Sounds good. So nums two, nums two, and J plus one. And then uh, I stays the same, J plus one increments. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to keep track of all these answers. And we're only going to do this up to K. So like, uh, y O Q and K greater than zero. And so then we'll pop that answer dot append. We want only the pairs. So like, could you like I J like that and then just decrement mm -hmm. K and then return answer. So, uh, yeah, yeah so I think this code uh, is. Okay. Uh, yeah. go ahead and yeah, uh, copy paste that into lead code and, uh, Test it and uh, go ahead and like if if you need to make like small edits like uh you you can make those edits in in lead code itself and just to like test it out and or whatever, um, as long as like the bulk of the code you have is in the share pad, uh, so it can be visible. Okay, so um, I don't I don't know which lead code problem this is. I'm gonna try to search it. Kate's smallest oh. pair. Okay, uh, Kate's smallest so here. Uh, this one. Uh, you see it at the bottom? Yeah, I see it. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Cool. So 
We'll just run this. Mm -hmm. And uh, heap expected two arguments. So right, so this needs to be a queue mm -hmm. when we push, and then this needs a queue when we push, queue when mm -hmm. we push. So just have to fix that, and then we'll run it again. See what error we get, or if we get an error. Uh, it is this one indexed, or I guess it's just wrong. Um. Oh, so, okay. So return ants. Okay, so your answer dot appending ij. Keep in mind. Take a look at the example outputs. Um. It consists of one element from the first array and this one element from the second array. Like the elements, um, not the indices. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So it's nums at i, nums at j. And these are always going to be in bounds, so I don't think there's any issues with that. Just to make sure. Okay, cool. So we'll see this. And... Um, I didn't title them, so that's cool too. Nums one, nums two. So we'll do mm -hmm. this one more time. Mm -hmm. See if it works. And fails the second case. I guess is there priority over the elements? No. Fails the first example, uh, which is, and I can like go back over, I guess, but. Maybe to here. Oh, God. Okay. Um, um, first three pairs are returned from the sequence. Okay. So, like, essentially... Oh, my God. Essentially, my output is... Uh, yeah, my output's this. And we're getting back... Uh, one, seven, two instead of one, Seven, six. two. How do you end up with a seven, two? And here are the things, case three. Okay, so we do, oh wait, seven, two, okay, is nine, and one, six is seven, yeah. Did I, think if I did this math wrong. Hmm, let me think about it as well. Min heap. Yeah, they should be different. Um, I I'd have to add print statements. I think, I think adding print statements. I just print out like what the the heap looks like basically at every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll just do that over a little Malik of a thing. Just add some print mm -hmm. statements here. Just print the. The heap every time right make sure that the uh the keep keys are uh correct so it's a zero zero oh let's see four zero one seven is this um um let's see wait zero zero Oh, because I'm doing the the indices, so this is actually a lot harder to debug, I think. But one, uh, one zero, one zero is seven. The sum is off. Yeah. Okay. I I see what I did wrong. Um, the this thing here, it shouldn't. The sum shouldn't be zero. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, and so that's gonna mess it up. So it should be. Nums at nums one at zero. Uh, plus nums two at zero. That's what the actual sum is. I think that's mm -hmm. what's messing it up. Um, ooh, well, I don't know. Or at least maybe that's messing up my print statements. But... Okay. Um, that didn't matter, but 
I guess the print statements are a little more accurate now. It says one zero is 10. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, wait, wait, it's the plus. Right, it's not sum plus. The sum doesn't actually increment like that. Instead, what mm -hmm. it does is it's nums2 at j. Yep. And then nums1 at i plus that, yeah. So we'll run this and see what we got. Cool. All right. Um, looks like that works. Uh, I'm going to submit it. Okay. I guess it works on the examples now and submit mm -hmm. it. We get a uh, working solution. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So that could so is... copy paste that network. All right. Yeah. Now I'll, I'll copy paste it and run it. And. Awesome. Great. Yeah, great job. That's uh, roughly the solution I had in mind, and uh, yeah, cool. Nice. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of a dexterous yeah, like heap 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 thing. Uh, no, I mean you you talk through everything well, and uh, and uh, I mean you, you you went for the two pointer solution first, and then figured out that it wouldn't work, and then we had to think through like a way to uh, uh, <clears throat> a way to make sure we don't invalidate any potential answers. And uh, the the heap the heap strategy turned out to be the one that uh, that made it so uh, you don't so the heap strategy means you have like kind of a frontier of possible answers and mm -hmm. uh, right uh, and uh, you can you can just pick the minimum from them rather than having mm -hmm. to compare between like the minimum between like two different things or something yeah okay. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. Sounds good. Um, all right. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Raymond, for being the first, uh, the first ever um, uh, viewer mock interview. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Cool. And cool. I just cool. need someone to give you a ultra hard problem, like a nice yeah. three thousand rated. Yeah, all I'm. Right. I'm not good at no. <laughs> Alrighty. Take care, man. All right. Yeah. Thanks for the mocks and yeah. Peace. Oh no problem. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, that's that. All right. Um, how, how do y'all like that? Uh, is that format good? Um, is this is this viewable content? Uh, do we want to do another one? Very fun. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Arik, Arik wanted to do one, but um, like it's, if I give you one that's like challenging for you, like um, if I give you one that's challenging for you, it's nobody else in the stream is going to know what it is, like how to do it. <laughs> And like probably not even me. I I've give him a normal problem. Uh, volunteers like yeah, I'm queuing up volunteers. The queue is empty. The queue is the queue is empty. That's what's happening. That's that's where we're at. It's kind of our problem here.